Hey guys, it's Diane with My Boat Life. If you've been watching our channel, then you've probably seen a lot of our boat trip videos. In addition to our DIY videos where Captain Brian is infamously known for his duck bill valve replacement and the AC troubleshooting video, check that out. And you also probably know that we boat on the Chesapeake Bay. We've been boating on the upper Chesapeake Bay for over 20 years now, so I thought it'd be fun to do a roundup of some of our favorite places to visit on the bay. Whether you're familiar with the Chesapeake Bay or you just want to get to know the bay a little bit better and see where we like to go, here's my roundup of our favorite boating destinations on the Chesapeake Bay. Ooh, that's really sunny. <laughs> I, I can't even see. Am I on camera? It's crazy sunny. This video is sponsored by Argo Navigation. Argo is a free navigation app that we've been using for all our boat trips. You can search for places you want to go to, create an auto route based on your boat's draft, see helpful info along the way, and even see friends on the water using the app. Best of all, you can organize all your boat trips in a captain's log. There are also tons of advanced features with their premium plan, like offline charts and full syncing to their web app. So definitely download the Argo Boating app for free if you haven't already. Now let's get underway and count down our top five best boating destinations on the Chesapeake Bay. Number five is Cambridge. Cambridge is on the eastern shore south of the Bay Bridge and home to the Hyatt Cambridge Resort and Marina. If you're longing for a resort getaway, then it's worth the cruise up the Chop Tank River to the Hyatt Resort and Marina. It's really the only hotel resort marina on the Bay. Although the marina itself is very basic, some can even argue that the docks are in pretty rough shape. When you stay there, you get full access to all the resort amenities at the hotel like multiple pools, restaurants, beach activities, mini golf, and more. There's definitely no other marina that has this level of amenities on the bay. A short cruise back up Chop Tank and across the bay takes you to number four on our list, North Beach. Harrington Harbor has two marinas located on the western shore, south and north, but we prefer Harrington Harbor South Marina located in North Beach, Maryland. Of course, south versus north is definitely a debate on the Chesapeake Bay, so you may have a different opinion. But we prefer Harrington Harbor South because it is an absolutely beautiful property and includes a marina as well as an inn and a restaurant. There's a beach area with kayaks and paddle boards and a huge Olympic sized pool, the biggest pool we've been to anywhere on the bay. That was perfect. That was really good. The only drawback is the property is so beautiful that it hosts a lot of weddings. So I'd recommend a less busy weekday visit if you can. Our number three destination is our favorite small town to visit by boat, St. Michael's, Maryland. St. Michael's is located just a bit further south than Annapolis, and it's on the eastern shore of the Chesapeake Bay. The main harbor is very tight and busy, especially on the weekends. So get your fenders ready as they squeeze you into a slip. But it's worth it because it's such a beautiful spot to visit. It's a very small town, so everything is within walking distance, and there's surprisingly a lot to do. Great restaurants and bars, lots of shopping, and like most of the waterfront towns, it's a historic location on the bay. There's even a maritime museum right in the harbor. Another favorite small town on the eastern shore of the Chesapeake Bay is Rock Hall, Maryland, our number two favorite boating destination. 
In fact, we didn't even know this town existed until we got into boating. Rock Hall is a small waterman's town where their main industry is crabbing. Just north of the Bay Bridge, it has easy access to most areas of the Chesapeake Bay, so it's a pretty popular spot for boaters. It has a small town vibe and it's always very relaxing when we visit. You can pretty much walk or bike around the whole town. And there's lots of events going on like their famous Pirates and Wenches weekend in the summer or Oyster Fest in the fall. Our favorite marina to stay at is always Haven Harbor on Swan Creek. In fact, it was a visit to this marina as guests that got us into boating over 20 years ago. So it always feels like home to us. There's a lot to do at the marina with a pool, lawn games, and an outside bar. And if you're boating with friends, they can even rent a room at their inn. Our number one boating destination to visit every year is Annapolis, Maryland. If you follow us on social media, then you probably already knew that Annapolis was going to be number one on this list. It's always fun to take a ride on the water taxi. That makes it pretty easy to stay at just about any marina in the area and then take a short cruise on the taxi to where all the action is at City Dock. We love everything about Annapolis. We love the historical nautical town loaded with some of the best shops, bars, and restaurants in Maryland. You'll typically find us at our favorite bar, Middleton's Tavern, devouring endless orders of mussels and <laughs> crab cakes and, of course, oyster shooters. For our family, the seafood is the biggest reason we keep coming back again and again. Although, to be honest, we are usually all about the seafood everywhere we go on the bay. We love it so much in Annapolis that we often go back for a visit in the fall when they have two of the biggest boat shows on the East Coast, the Annapolis U.S. Power Boat Show, and then the following weekend, the Annapolis U.S. Sailboat Show. So those are our favorite places. Did I miss any? Are there any places we should be adding to our go-to list next year? Let us know in the comments below. Hope you like this video and subscribe for more from my boat life.